I am Adil Kumar. In this video, I am going to share an excellent question from one of our subscribers. It is based on LCM and GCF of polynomials. So I made two questions out of it, which is find the lowest multiple, lowest common multiple LCM of x square plus x to the power of 4 and x to the power of 15. And question number two is find the greatest common factor of these three polynomials. You can always pause the video, answer this question, and then look into my suggestions. Now I'm going to use Venn diagrams to uh, show you how do we find the LCM and GCF. So let me make three circles for the factors of x squared, x to the power of 4, and x to the power of 15, right? So let's say these three circles uh, represent the three polynomials which are, let me write down here x squared, x to the power of 4, and x to the power of 15. Now as you can see, x squared is common to all, right? So this factor x squared can be written as here. So clearly for x squared, this will be, there will be only 1 and x squared. As far as x to the power of 4 is concerned, in this blue circle, we already have x squared. So uh, we could now have x squared common with x to the power of 15, right? So I could write x squared here. Now that becomes common with x to the power of 15. Now getting to x to the power of 15, we already have x squared and x squared, which is x to the power of 4. So now, I could actually write here x to the power of 15 minus 4, which is 11. Can you see that? Right. So, so ultimately, if you notice, we have placed x squared in this circle, and then x to the power of 4, product of these two, and then x to the power of 15 right there. So clearly from here, you can see what is the greatest common factor and what is the LCM, right? So the LCM for these three numbers is the common multiple. So you just multiply all of them. So we have x squared times x squared times x to the power of 11, which is equal to x to the power of 15. So x to the power of 15 is indeed a common multiple. And that's a, that is the greatest common factor for each one of them, right? Is that clear to you, right? You can see that I could write x to the power of 15 as equal to x squared times x squared times x to the power of 11, correct? So that is what it means. And x to the power of 4 is written as x squared times x squared. So, so the greatest common factor between all of them will be, you can take one of these x squares, right? So one of this and then x to the power of 11 to get your result perfect so that is how we could actually find the lcm now let's look into the greatest common factor now greatest common factor is common to all of them and clearly the greatest which is common to all three of them is x squared right so so the greatest common is right there to all three of them and that is how we get our result so we have x to the power of 15 as the LCM and the GCF is x squared. Okay? So that is how we could answer this interesting question. I hope that makes sense. Thanks for your time and all the best.